two conservative think tanks, the Manhattan and Goldwater Institutes, released model legislation aimed at dismantling DEI efforts at public colleges in 2023. Since then, numerous bills have been introduced across the U.S. to ban DEI practices in hiring and admissions and diversity training. Some have become law. What exactly is DEI and why the push to ban it? DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and it's rooted in anti-discrimination laws that sprouted from the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s, and more recent accreditation standards. By using data, policy, and interventions, DEI advocates say they can root out discrimination on college campuses and eliminate racial disparities. Supporters argue DEI fosters a more inclusive campus. Detractors, including conservative lawmakers, contend it's divisive, violates free speech, and wastes taxpayer money. They argue that DEI efforts prioritize certain groups over others. Experts warn that DEI efforts could have costly consequences, from job losses to financial setbacks for colleges. Legislators have sought to ban four main tenets of DEI practices, diversity statements, identity-based hiring and admissions practices, diversity offices, and diversity training programs. Diversity statements require job candidates to explain their contributions to DEI work, but are viewed as a political litmus test by some lawmakers. A ban on using a candidate's identity to determine hiring and admissions would deter several initiatives to diversify administration and faculty ranks on college campuses. DEI officers are often tasked with responding to complaints about gender and pay inequity, disability discrimination, and sexual harassment. But they're now under fire from many people who see them as ineffective, dividing people based on their identities and promoting liberal ideologies. Diversity training is often used as a tool to help employees on college campuses understand their own biases and identify and report discrimination when they see it. Critics argue it's often poorly executed, should not be mandatory, and is often ineffective. Altogether, DEI efforts have been patchwork solutions to address systemic inequities in higher education with graduation rates for marginalized students still lagging behind those of white students. In states where anti-DEI bans have become law, college administrators have renamed multicultural centers, laid off DEI officers, and pledged to open up services for everyone on campus, no matter their identity. DEI advocates say the banning of their efforts will have devastating effects on minority enrollment and overall campus diversity. Those opposed to DEI efforts say colleges should find fairer and more legal ways to fight discrimination. <laughs>